this video, I'm going to explain the difference between your master course and your live academic shell for your course. So I have a master course for ARTC 2313. I've been working in it. Sometimes this is referred to as your sandbox and developing my content, my uh, assignments, uh, working on my gradebook, all my settings, everything has been done in this master course. Of course, now a new semester is here and I need to load up my live shell. Okay, so you, if you have multiple sections, you might have uh, many sections for your course. I have only one section. So if you have multiple sections, you'll see multiple shells. I'm going to show you how to dump the master course into that shell at the beginning of the semester. So to do that, it's very easy. Uh, again, I've already completed everything I want to do with my master shell. So all I need to do is to come into my live shell and import the entire course into it. So here I am in my live shell. This is a blank shell. There's absolutely nothing has been done to it. No home page has been set. Absolutely nothing has been done in here. So I'm going to go to the settings. And on the settings, you have a over here on the right hand side, or if you have a low resolution, this may be at the bottom of your screen. You're going to see import content into this course. And I'm going to click on import content. I need to select which thing I want to do, I want to copy an entire Canvas course. Once I select that, it's going to let me search for courses. I have many courses, but you may have only a few and have a drop down option. I'm going to type in master and see that my master ARTC 2313 comes up. I have the option of selecting just specific content out of it. Uh, for this purposes of this video, I'm going to show you just all content. I want the whole kit and caboodle, every setting, every module, everything, the whole thing. All right, and I'm going to click import. Now that's going to take just a few minutes. I'm going to pause this, but you can see as it's running, there's going to be a progress bar here. Once the progress is finished, it will say the course has been uh, completed in the import. Now I just need to go check out uh, how this looks. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard here and see that my live ARTC has indeed already been set up. Well, I clicked on something really quickly here. You see has been set up. Here's my home page has already been set up. Everything that I did in the other course, all my settings, including my student view, which I took time to do a moment ago. So if I go into my student view, you can see here that every setting that I had made for this course is set and ready to go. So that is it. And now uh, when you're working, let's say, through the course of the semester, um, you find that you want to make changes, do go back to your master course and make those changes and then import just a single item. I have a different video for importing a single item into your course. Uh, so I look forward to showing you how to do that. But this is how to import your entire master course into your live course. Okay. Oh, I forgot one final thing. Let's say I am ready to go. The last thing I need to do before it is ready for the students, I've got everything ready, is I do need to publish this course. So if I go to my setup checklist, which is at the bottom, because this is telling me my course is unpublished. If I click on my setup, oh, I got to leave student view. <laughs> okay, leave student view. Now I'm the instructor. Setup checklist. And one of the very bottom options is publish this course. I publish this course and now my students will be able to not only see the course, but enter the course. All right, that's the final thing to make your live course ready to go.